The Bizarre Beasts Living in Romania's Poison Cave. So not everything is about politics. I thought it would be interesting to explore something here about a hidden ecosystem in a Romanian cave. This cave has been isolated for 5.5 million years. Despite a complete absence of life and a poisonous atmosphere, the cave is crawling with life. There are unique versions of spiders, scorpions, wood lice, and centipedes. They owe their lives to a floating mat of bacteria which produces the energy they need to survive without a cave system, largely without oxygen. Workers in communist Romania were testing the ground to see if it was suitable for a power plant when they stumbled across the Moval cave. The cave has since then been sealed and only accessible for scientific exploration. The scientists that explore this cave brave hostile breathing conditions and temperatures. As one scientist says, microbiologist Rich Bowden, it's pretty warm and very humid, so it feels warmer than it is. And of course, with a boiler suit and helmet on, that doesn't help. Here's an interesting cave leech. These are animals that were trapped in the, in the uh, cave water system when it was sealed from above. And these creatures developed into strange underground versions of what they were on land. The cave system contains just 10% oxygen. If you are an industrial worker and you, you work with the industrial spaces, confined space work permits, you know that 10% oxygen is not enough to sustain human life. But these scientists brave that uh, going down into the cave to do their explorations. Now here's an amazing scene. The water scorpion attacking a wood louse. You may call these roly-poly bugs or potato bugs. But see, the wood, wood louse has no eyes and no coloration. Usually they're gray, in America at least. Here's a pair of water scorpions. In most caves, animals get their food from the water dripping down from the surface. However, Moval Cave has a thick layer of clay above it, which is impermeable to water. When Last Cave first visited, he could not find any stalactites or stalagmites indicating there was not a steady influx of nutrients into this cave system. This means water isn't coming from above, so it must be coming from below. It now seems that the water in Moval Cave comes from spongy sandstones where it has lain for 25,000 years. That's somewhat reminiscent of the uh, underground water systems in Australia, where the water underground in that continent uh, is in some places millions of years old. Tests have shown that the water flowing in this cave does not contain any food particles. Instead, the food comes from the strange frothy foam sitting on top of the water. There's a beautiful shot of the cave wood louse. How strange it looks compared to the wood louses you might find if you lifted up a log or a rock on land. This floating film, which looks like wet tissue paper and can even be torn like paper, contains millions upon millions of bacteria known as autotrophs. These bacteria get their carbon from carbon dioxide, just like plants do. But unlike plants, they can't use photosynthesis as there is no light. Rather than using light as an energy source, the mobile bacteria use a process known as chemosynthesis. They get the energy needed from chemical reactions, the key ones being the oxidation of sulfide and similar sulfur ions into sulfuric acid, or the oxidation of ammonium, found in the groundwaters to nitrate. Now, what is important about this ecosystem? For one, it shows how tenacious life is in harsh environments. But another, if you are a planetary scientist, someone planning to look for life on other planets, or, be, or in, the, in the void between the, the stars, this explains how life could exist on asteroids or other worlds. As Ian Malcolm said in Jurassic Park, Nature finds a way, and this little cave here could explain a way that life exists beyond the Earth. Could there be creatures like this running around the asteroid Ceres or other moons on our solar system? 
could life like this be developing right now in our very solar system away from Earth? We don't know. Not unless we explore what's out there. And then hopefully find life as strange and varied as this centipede. I hope you have enjoyed this exploration of science as much as I have. And you can visit this story at the BBC link pictured above. Thanks to crazy scientists like this, we learn more about our natural world.